Okay, so we have a story to tell today. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I'm going to... Okay, oh, so here, here's part of the, the back story. Um, Cheryl has a nerve block scheduled because the last one didn't work and they're going to shoot pure alcohol into the nerve bundles so it stops the pain. Um, but in order to do that, her doctor works at a couple of different facilities, her, her uh, surgeon. And one of the facilities is Methodist, and that's where they scheduled the procedure for. Methodist is currently um, forcing everybody to have a drive-by COVID yeah, test. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> drive-by COVID test, 24 hours. They are so serious about it. Look, I must have a rapid COVID test done with highlighter and a exclamation point <laughs> they're very like serious. very serious methodist is very serious about this so, i've already had another nerve block done like callie said by this doctor at another facility that he works out of which was a absolutely wonderful facility they did not require me to have a covid test in fact this will be the first covid test i've ever had since covid started when which shocked the lady making the appointment. making the appointment yeah. i was like mm, i'm not even sure i want to do this hold on and before that i really felt like the lord told me not to have this procedure done so and so later the, they don't even nobody knows or can tell you what exactly they're going to do. Even the procedure is. Like all the way up to, I was supposed to be having some kind of surgery tomorrow. No one has even told me, been able, I have asked multiple people. I've asked my oncologist physician's assistant. I've asked people from Methodist. And I've asked my um, the lady who works for the surgeon that is going to do it, that scheduled the appointment. No one has been able to tell me whether or not I'm going to have an actual laparoscopic surgery, which is an issue because I have a hernia right now. Um, and so I've asked all of these people, no one can even tell or me what kind of procedure, or if they're going to do a scope through my mouth, or what is going to even be done to my body. So I'm supposed to go have a surgery tomorrow. I don't even know what they're going to do to my body. So, yeah, over the... As they've scheduled this, there's been a whole bunch of, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. Talk to the oncologist physician assistant. and She gave she, me some comfort about it. Yeah. She was like, you know, he's a really good doctor, which I agree. And I've already had a procedure done by him. So, he is a wonderful doctor, and it was a wonderful facility and a great experience. So they call to schedule the drive-by COVID test, which has to be done the day before. And you got two options. You can option B, go get a rapid COVID test within 48 hours, but it has to be the up your nose and swab your brain kind. Or you could do their drive-by service. Of Methodist. Of Methodist. Curbside COVID test. Yeah, and you have the option of oral or nasal and i was like that is wonderful and i will drive all the way to san antonio a day early to do this covid test and i will do it orally i am not having anyone like penetrate my blood brain barrier and stick a cotton swab up against my nose when the nose and the mouth are connected. Like, obviously, does that make sense to anyone? Like, why you would even have that done? Like, I don't trust them. I don't trust them that there's not, like, chemicals or poisons or a vaccine or something weird on the swab, A, or an implant or chip or whatever thing. I don't even care at this point if I sound like a crazy person. I don't trust them. So, 
but I'm going to do it orally and I feel like way better about that. So we drive all the way. We wake up hours early, drive two and a half hours to San Antonio in our gas sucking truck to go get this COVID test done. And we <laughs> pull up to the testing facility and the very nice young lady comes out to talk to us. Yeah, like real creepy. Um, you know how they got Stepford Wives? Imagine those ladies as nurses, like super creepy and trying to be nice and, and all that. And uh, they have a series of questions that they had to ask. Two questions, actually. One, are you COVID vaccinated? No, I'm not. No. And the second one, the lady said, have you ever had an allergic reaction to medication? To any medication. <laughs> and she emphasizes the words any. Have I ever had an allergic reaction to any medica medication? And I was like, why What's would you ask me that if you're not administering a medication to me? And she was like, it's a normal hospital question. And I was like, but I'm not in the hospital. And she refuses to answer. I was like, there's nothing on the swab, right? It's just a cotton swab. And she's like, it's, but ma'am, it's a normal hospital question. Like if you, we were going to give you penicillin, yeah. then we need to know if you've ever had an allergic reaction. I was like, that's exactly my point. Like you're not giving me anything, Right. You're not giving me anything right. She would not say that she's not giving me anything. She would not say that it's just a cotton swab. She would not say that she's not giving me a medication. And I was like, I don't understand. Like, you have to understand. And she was like, ma'am, it's nothing to be worried about. And I was like, I, I was like, you are making me extremely um, suspicious. And she was like, no, ma'am, there's nothing it's to be okay. suspicious about. Don't it's worry. okay. And I was like, no, you can trust us. I was like, <laughs> you know, any, yes, she starts telling me all these like buzzwords. Like she's trying to like convince a three-year-old to eat broccoli. She's like, no, you can trust us. Like I, I can't trust you. I don't know you. And you can't even tell me if you're going to put a medicine in my body. You're asking me suspicious questions. You won't explain to me why you're asking me the questions. And so we go round and round about this for a moment. And then she was like, okay, just let me finish. And I was like, okay. And she was like, first, I need you to put a mask on. And I was like, in my car? They're going to administer this test in my car, by the way. Curbside. Yeah, you drive, drive up. up you don't get out of the car. Door. And she was like, yes, ma'am. And I was like ma'am, I'm not going to put a mask on in my own car. That's, I'm thinking like, that's ridiculous. I was like, no, ma'am, I'm not going to put a mask on in my car. And she was like, you have to put a mask on. I was like, listen, how about if I roll up the window and when it's time to take the test, I'll roll down the window and open my mouth. <laughs> and she was like, you have to wear a mask. And I was like, I don't I have to take the mask off to do the test anyway. And she was like, you just have to pull it down to your nose and I was like no I'm taking the oral test and she was like no it's a it's a nasal test and I was like no I was told it's an oral test and she was like it's okay my friend whoever whatever name she said she's really gentle she was like she's really gentle and I was like ma'am you're like you're not listening to me she doesn't care what I'm saying about what I'm medically going to have done to my body she's like she's really gentle and I was like I ma'am please listen to me I am not having the nasal test I'm not doing it and she was like yes and I was like no oh okay all right we just we need to leave and she was like ma'am Miss Callie like please don't do that and I was like no I'm I'm sorry like we're not gonna be able to do this you're trying to force me to do this test in my nose that I've already told you like I'm not gonna do so we leave yeah we pull two, two spaces away from the very end of the parking lot. Now, mind uh, you, there, there's no cars driving anywhere in this parking this lot. This is the back of a building. The car parking lot is about half empty. We pull where 
there are like just at least 10 spaces in every direction like it's empty and a security guard comes up and he says that we're impeding access um, that we need to not block traffic and we are in a parking space and I'm like what is this weird Gestapo thing where they have a security guard watching people get a medical test like this isn't this isn't normal nothing about this is normal so we leave and then Methodist calls me and I'm like okay I need back. to um, cancel my surgical appointment for tomorrow and um, I explained why and she was like ma'am we we never have done oral tests and I like I'm making it up like she is basically like calling me a liar like I'm making this up and I was just like okay you have a blessed day I need to cancel my appointment for tomorrow thank you so much for trying to help me I appreciate it and have a blessed day and goodbye and so that was the end of it I did call the doctor's office to let them know and like I'm very sorry about the inconvenience but anyway that is like our crazy yeah. story for today. Yeah. It was no nerve really... block. So no nerve block is happening. I'm not um, going to have that done. And I'm sure I get to go explain to my oncologist now and I look like a kook. But oh well. Like, But at least your pain has gone down. You're like taking way less medication and my, it's over Yes. My pain eight hours has continued to go down so considerably. Uh, I've been able to go from taking medication every six hours to taking it every eight hours, like Callie just said. I'm only having to take one medication and one pill. Um, and I am on the patch, so that's constant. I keep forgetting about that, um, that I am, that I am on the patch as well. So it's not like just one pill is like controlling the pain, but the pain is so much better and everything is good. So in every other way, I feel great. Um, I don't feel at all like I have cancer. I feel great. I feel the Lord has really sustained me. I went through the chemo. I didn't get any like sores or ulcers in my mouth. I didn't have any bone pain from the shot that forces your body to produce white blood cells. Um, so yeah, I've had problems with diarrhea and probably don't need to talk about those in a video, but that's been my worst like side effect but praise the lord well, i have the needles in your hands i have medication mouth. for that oh yeah i do have the neuropathy thing but it's not it's not a debilitating or anything yeah. like that so it's very good and i'm not having the nerve block so thank you for everyone for praying for next that next round for of me. chemo is on monday yep monday we'll start my next round of chemo round two so we'll see how that goes thank you and have a blessed day